Hi, I'm Jim Klein, Peter LSU beat writer for NOLA.com, the Times Picayune, with another vlog on uh, the injury to Jalen Mills and what that means. Uh, Jalen Mills suffered a fractured fibula in practice on Wednesday morning, uh, and the early reports are that he's going to be out four to six weeks, won't require surgery, but uh, uh, truly a, 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 a tough break for LSU, and uh, uh, when he gets back, will have a, a could have a big bearing on their season. That four to six week span takes them right uh, to the end of uh, the last two weeks of September, uh, up to the beginning of October. If he can get back in four weeks, he'd be back in time for the Mississippi State and Auburn back-to-back -back SEC games in September. But if he can't get back until six weeks, uh, it's going to be tough for LSU uh, facing two uh, spread offenses that uh, like to throw the ball a lot. Uh, Jalen Mills is uh, uh, the guy that you, uh, I, I'm not going to say he's the guy you can least afford to lose on this defense. I think uh, Kendall Beckwith is, but he's at least the second most. He's the most experienced player on either side of the, uh, of the ball for LSU. He started 39 games in three years. He's maxed out pretty much. He started and played in every game LSU uh, has in, in the last three years. Uh, started out a cornerback, a good cover guy, but his big value is as the uh, uh, the man who's going to probably call the plays and direct traffic from the back of the defense. Um, in LSU's favor, you're talking about the area where the, the Tigers are the deepest. Uh, the secondary is just loaded with talent. They've got lots of good guys to cover. Uh, they've got good, strong cornerbacks. Uh, even the replacement for Mills, uh, Ricky Jefferson, uh, the coaches are very, very high on him and have been. He played as a freshman. He started one game. He's uh, played... Uh he played in all 13 games last year. He's played 20 games in his career. So uh, th this is a, they're not exactly, uh, the cupboard isn't exactly bare there. Um, Corey Thompson is another one who he's been injured the last two years. He's had trouble getting back from a knee injury last year and pretty much sat the year out, but he's completely healthy. He's more of a big hitter and a guy that they might have uh, uh, thought about moving the linebacker. But this uh, may just bring LSU to change things around in the, in the defensive backfield, but we'll see how it all works out. Uh, it, so it's uh, four weeks from the day the season starts, two weeks from Saturday, and uh, uh, I'm sure uh, LSU fans will be watching uh, this development closely. But uh, LSU should be able to overcome this, uh, but it is going to be a tough test against Auburn and Mississippi State if uh, Jalen Mills is unable to go. So uh, stay with us on NOLA.com. Uh, I'm Jim Klein, Peter, and follow me, follow me on NOLA.com dot com.